Hello folks, so now I'm going after the Rosette Nebula and I have no idea how much data I should be collecting. So far, uh, three hours worth of HA look pretty good and now I'm working on um, sulfur. I'm doing three minute exposures like I always do for sulfur. The mean readout 748 and I can already see data coming through in a, a single raw image so that's a good sign so uh, I'm probably gonna stack two hours worth of data and see if that's enough because this object is not in view for me very long because of obstructions I'm dealing with in that direction so I probably only have four or five hours of viewing on this target per night so if I can finish it off with say eight hours total integration time I'll be happy with that and let's take a look at the PhD 2 guiding Uh, in the point nine range, that's that's not very good. I've done a lot better than that, but always when I point to the south, like I, I always say the same thing, my guiding's never as good. But I, I think I can get by. The image was looking pretty crisp when I stacked HA. So, uh, well, I'll be back. Probably, hopefully, uh, I can finish it tonight, and I'll be back tomorrow. See you later. Okay, so after capturing seven hours of data across two nights. This is what I came up with, three hours of HA, two hours of oxygen, and two hours of sulfur. And it looked like I captured lots of data, even though it's only seven hours and all, I, I think I captured uh, good data in all three filters. So whenever you capture good data or lots of data, uh, it, it's not that hard to process. And let me show you. So I went with the Hubble palette, and that's what I came up with after the combine. And uh, let me apologize again for the way I sound. I know I sound nasally. I, I mentioned before, I have polyps in my nose, in my sinuses, and I need an operation. I, I, I just don't have the courage yet to go under the knife, but I'm going to do it because it's just not clearing up right now. A lot of times it would uh, seem to flare up, and then... Uh, it would go back down. I could breathe well again. But right now, it doesn't seem to be going away this time. I think it's finally time I'm going to have to take action on it. But sorry to sorry to bore you, but I just want to explain why I sound nasally. It's been like this for a while now. It's driving me nuts. I'll do this operation, but I'm not sure what. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's what I got after the combine, and after playing around with the colors, I spent a lot of time actually. Not in Pixinsight, but in Photoshop, using selecting using selective color. I like to leave a lot of green in my original combine. That way I can sort of select green in Photoshop and then start tweaking it to the colors I like. And this is what I uh, this is what I came up with. And most of it was due to the uh, selective color process in Photoshop. Although I did use the curves transformation. I still had some green in there. I used the curves transformation. Just to do a simple, uh, quick edit on this, I, for, for example, it, it was more green, like that, and then it was less blue. It looks something like that in this preview here. So I just, I reduced the green, whatever. I reduced the green, increased the blue a little bit, and that got me to even uh, this a little bit uh, more blue. But I could really make this a dark blue, like I think that's more the standard way of this one looks with the Hubble palette. But I like how this one turned out just, just like it is. So uh, I'm going to stick with that. And uh, that's that. Uh, this is my new favorite object. Usually the last thing I work on is my new favorite. So I like this one. Let me show you. I already made it my desktop background. Hooray. Maybe I'll get another top pick in Astrobin. Maybe not. But one of these days, I'm going to get an image of the day. Maybe not this one. I don't think this might not be good enough. You never know. But one of these days, I just want one. I, I keep, that's my goal, just to keep up with my friends. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.